Hello everyone, this is a bonus video to the AR portal tutorial. I will show you how to create a 360 view inside an AR portal. This video is based on my previous AR portal tutorial. Please see the description for the link to the previous parts. Open the projects you created from the AR portal tutorial with Unity. Let's first download the 360 video. For this tutorial, I will be using Beach Sunrise from Vimeo. You can find the link to download this video in the description. Feel free to use any other 360 video. Create a new folder, named Videos, inside Hello AR, and then copy your 360 video into it. Let's disable everything that's related to AR, so that we can easily test on editor without the need to build to device. Disable AR Core Session, AR Core Background Renderer, and then Track Pose Driver. Open AR Controller and then add an early out to the update function. Enable Portal. We no more need the building, so let's disable it. Create a sphere and set the scale to 50. Drag your video into the sphere. You can see that a new component, named Video Player, got added automatically to the sphere. Enable Video Looping. Run the application on Editor to test if your video is working properly. We want our 360 video to only be visible through the door. To do that, we need to have more control over the shader that will show the video. Create a new material named Video. Copy Sponsor.Shader into the folder named Materials. Rename Sponsor.Shader to Video.Shader. Drag Video.Shader into Video Material. Apply Video Material to the sphere. Run the application on editor. As you can see, the video is no more visible. Face calling is used to tell the GPU which face to render. In order to be able to see the video from inside the sphere, we have to set face calling to front. Open video.shader. The call mask is by default set to back. Let's remove instructions that are related to lighting. All what we need is to read the video texture, then display it on screen. If you run the application on editor, you can see that the video looks clearer now because lighting is no more applied to it. Rename Sphere to Sky Dome. Select Portal Plane, then replace Sponza with Sky Dome. Dome. 
select video material and then set the stencil comparison function to equal. Run the application and test to see if you are getting the same behavior as what we were getting with the building sponsor. As you see, in camera preview window, going through the door will show the sky dome fully. However, when we are inside the sky dome and look through the door, we are expecting to see the real world and not the 360 video. Leaving the sky dome through the door is working as expected. Let's now fix the previous problem. Open portalmanager.cs Add a new condition to check if we are inside the sky dome. Set the stencil compare function to not equal. This means that the sky dome will not get drawn if the portal plane is in front of it. Which means that when we are inside the sky dome and looking through the door, we will see the real world instead of the sky dome. Run the application on editor. As you see, we are still not getting the expected results. That's because the calling mask of the portal plane is set to back, which means that we will only render the portal plane when the front face is facing the camera. When we are inside the sky dome, the back face of the portal plane will face the camera. To fix this issue, we have to always render the portal plane regardless of which direction it's facing. Open portal plane dot shader and then disable face calling. Run the application again. As you see, now we can look at the real world through the door when we are inside the sky dome. Try to move the camera around the door, but without going through it. You can see that we have another problem now, which is not being able to see the 360 video through the door. In order to fix this problem, we have to start controlling face calling of portal plane in runtime. This means that when we are inside the virtual world, we have to set face calling to front. When we leave the virtual world to the door, we have to set face calling to back. Let's do that. Open video.shader and then copy properties. Open portal.shader and then pass properties into it. Delete line 5. Rename compare function to call mode. Rename stencil comp to call mode. Set the default value to zero. This means that by default calling is disabled. 
the call mode will now be controlled by the property we just created. This property can be accessed from C Sharp scripts. We will now add the code to control the call mode from script. Open portalmanager.cs Create a new variable, name it portal plane material. This variable will hold the material assigned to portal plane. Set this variable in the start function. Now, when the player is inside the virtual world, we will set the call mode to front. When outside the virtual world, but very close to the portal, we disable face calling. Set call mode to back when outside the virtual world and far from the portal by at least half a meter. Run the application again. You can see that everything is working as expected. Enable AR Core's functionalities again. You can now build your complete AR project. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.